as uh, we I have covered the uh, on the uh, world level uh, above world level uh, equivalence and um, moved on to talk about the grammar uh, grammatical equivalence and uh, now it's the textual equivalence which is cohesion uh, of course there's under textual equivalence which is now at a bigger level so we started from the world level where we talked about uh, different types of meanings four meanings which are lexical meanings uh, evoked uh, presupposed propos propositional and so on and then we moved on to uh, talk about uh, the um, evoked meaning in that we talked about the dialect and the uh, register and then above word level which we talked about uh, collocation and uh, uh, proverbs and frozen or uh, fixed expressions and then uh, grammatical equivalence where you talk, look about uh, look at uh, the g gender or the number duality and plurality and so on uh, and pronouns and then, of course, the textual equivalence. In the textual equivalence, there are two types, cohesion on the one level and thematic structure and information structure in another level. I'm not going to talk about that one. Uh, I'm going to talk about textual equivalence with regards to the cohesion this time. Uh, in another video, it will be about uh, thematic uh, structure and information structure or information flow uh, that is relating to the equivalence. So you can see that we are moving from word above word, which is phrase, um, a phrasal uh, like collocation uh, uh, proverbs, and above phrase, uh, you go to the sentence, uh, uh, which is grammar, syntax, morphology and syntax, which is grammatical equivalence, and now at a textual level, and the text, what is a text? A text can be a word, uh, a sentence, a paragraph, a page, uh, a, a book, a novel, a volume, uh, a set of a uh, group of uh, books, so a textual level is much higher than the other word level and above word level, which is a phrase and a sentence and so on. In the cohesion, uh, we're going to talk about four elements or four devices that are used according to Hassan, uh, to Hassan, uh, to Halliday and Hassan, which in 1976, where they talked about reference, substitution, ellipsis, conjunctions, and uh, lexical cohesion. And in that, of course, the reference, when we talk about reference, we're talking about anaphora, anaphora cataphora. Anaphora means referring backwards to um, a, a noun uh, uh, by using pronoun, third person, like he, she, or they. Um, and also cataphora is forward, uh, where you don't introduce the person until later. So you say, he did this, he did this, he did this. Let's welcome together Mr. and you say the name. And that is cataphora. And then there is co-reference. Co-reference when you're referring to the same character in different ways. In the cataphora and anaphora business, or uh, uh, reference, uh, there is also the element of dialectic words like this and these, which are very confusing, so you need to make sure that you get them uh, uh, right when you are translating them. Uh, here is an example about the Prime Minister, the Iron Lady, which is co-referencing, Mrs. Thatch Thatcher, the Prime Minister, the iron, uh, iron Lady. So you're referring to the same person, but in different ways, and that is what's called co-reference. Uh, like, for example, you say the boy, if you repeat the boy many times, and you say the lad, the child, um, the child, uh, which is a superordinate, or the idiot, if you want to, uh, you're referring to the same person, and you pronom pronominal uh, reference, which is a pronoun that you're using for that one. In anaphora, which you're back-referencing, and cataphora, which is forward referencing, you need. Then the substitution. I love uh, movies. I do. So you see the word I do. How do you translate it? أحبو الأفلام. أحبوها فعلا. You see the word do here. We don't translate it as do as يفعل. We are substitute. It's substituting the, li the like. The word like. Like movies. It has substituted that. I like movies. I do means I do like movies. Yani it's emphasis here. So, and the word movies is substituted by the word do. So do is substituting like and movies. So when we translate it, we say, well, you don't say, وَأَنَا كَذَلِكْ many, many translators, they say, وَأَنَا كَذَلِكْ لَا You say, I like movies. أحب الأفلام أحبها فعلا مثلا يعني ترجع مرة ثانية نكرر الفعل أحب I like two sausages. 
I have the same. I will have the same. I will have two sausages. I will have the same. So you can say translation-wise, you say, أُرِيدُ أَنَ تَنَاوَلَ سَجَقْ قَطَعْتَيْ سَجَقْ مَثَلًا وَأَنَا أُحِبُّ أَنَ تَنَاوَلَ نَفْسَ الشَّيْءِ أو نَفْسَ قُطَعْتَيْنِ بمعنى أنا أريد أحب أحب أن أتناول قطعتين أيضا هكذا نترجمها للsubstitution لأن substitution you are actually is uh, by definition is another device and unlike reference substitution and ellipses have grammatical rather than semantic relationships so it's relating not to the semantic not to the actual meaning but actual grammar here in ellipses it's a little bit, a little bit different, slightly different, uh, where some items have been omitted, but it's really, they are recoverable. Here's an example. Does Agatha sing in the bath? Yes, she does. Uh, and we have actually elliptical, means we omitted some parts of it, uh, and we translated, هل تغني أجاثا في الحمام؟ نعم, تغني في الحمام. And you see the word does, how we translate it? تغني في الحمام. We don't say نعم هي كذلك أو نعم هي تفعل. يعني this will be a very poor translation. Okay? So you say هل تغني أجاثا في الحمام؟ نعم هي تغني في الحمام. أو نعم هي تغني هناك. The next device is conjunctions. And you have to be careful because there's various types of conjunctions that are used. Additive ones like and, or, also, adversatives like but, yet, however. For example, you say he's handsome, he's good, he's his. However, I don't like him. Okay? There's causal as well, sababiyya. Uh, uh, then you have so, because, for that reason. And then you have temporal conjunctions, which is then and after then. Uh, and after, after then. Uh, not after then, after then, and an hour later. And then in, you have uh, conjunctions which are continuative ones, which is, of course, well, anyway. And this is on the one hand, on the other hand, this is also conjunctions which you need to be aware of in cohesion when you are translating them. Because the additive, you are idafa. بينما adversatives يعني تنقلب القصة بعد أن تكون. مثلا تقول أنه وسيم و ويافع وشاب ولطيف لكنني لا لا اريده مثلا مع ذلك لا اريده مثلا الكوزل يعني السببيه لهذا السبب تمبرال يعني زمنيه and then finally the device of lexical cohesion which is opposing meaning when you are using opposing meaning like love and hate الحب والكراهية وليس الكره يفضل أن تقول كراهية لأن الكره ممكن أن تقرأ كرة لأن في بعض الناس ما بيضعوا نقطتين فوق الهاء فتصبح كأنك تقول كرة وهي الكره الكرة يعني and there is also uh, opposite meanings which you can use and love of hate هو لا يحبني بمعنى هو يكرهني مثلا يعني يستخدم الـ 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 المعنى المعاكس هو يأمرني أو يطيعني أمره أو يطيعني أوكي وهناك أيضا مسألة هو ليس هو ليس بنت هو رجل أو هو صبي وهناك أيضا الاسوسيشن أو الربط بين مجموعة من السلسلة مثلا Monday إلى Friday يسي من من الاثنين إلى الجمعة تترجمها ومن أبريل إلى حزيران ومن الدولار إلى السنت أو من القرش إلى الليرة أو من الريال إلى الهللة وأيضا هناك ربط بين بعض الكلمات التي هي not ordered يعني part and whole relations يعني مثلا نذكر جزء من الشيء وكأننا نشير إلى الشيء كله مثلا نقول عن السيارة نقول the brake يعني brake we are talking about the brake that is in the car so we're talking about part of the car which is the brake or we can mention the whole car we can mention the tire and we can mention the bicycle, which is a tire is part of the bicycle and head is part of the body and brake is part of the car. And part and part relations, we can mention something like nose and eye, 
and break and exhaust which are part and part of each other and co hyponyms بالالوان مثلا الاحمر والاصفر وايضا الطاوله والكرسي هي اشياء مرتبطه مع بعضها البعض على انها كلمات هي متخصصه specified which is hyponyms and these hyponyms are related to each other some of them are related because of color some of them are related because they are parts of the, of the, of the face so you can mention any part of the face uh, whether it's the nose or the ear or the eye and the brake or the exhaust uh, and they are parts of the car uh, and these are relations that you need to be aware of them uh, so that when you are translating you might have to uh, think of their equivalences because they are part of a whole relation or part and part relation.